never in my life would I have written about myself. My 25 years of column writing, the pronoun I must have appeared in my columns half a dozen times. So um, for me, as a writer, other people were important. I was fascinated by their lives. I wasn't fascinated by mine at all. I mean, I was living, things were happening. I was making my choices, but fine now, everyone does that. So I was fobbing him off, but a lot of people who've met Jerry know that for being off is not something you can do. And he happens to live within 15 minutes walking distance of my house, <laughs> which makes nagging extremely easy. So two years he was at it and I was resisting and, and then one night, I got up from a dream and I had a kind of um, iron, slimy feeling in my throat. And suddenly I realized, I remember this feeling. It came when my tonsils came out. It was that slimy blood and the, uh, the smell of iron. And I thought, there's a whole lot of stuff supposedly significant in my life, which I do not remember. But I have a body memory of this, which is so vivid. And actually that set me off thinking about my body, thinking about it, and then uh, also thinking, gosh, this could be the answer to this daily nagging that goes on. Because it serves his purpose. It didn't because he saw that I had opted out of talking about myself. It's, it serves my purpose because with the body, you can be totally objective. I, I can be. I always have been completely objective about my body. It is there. It is not there by my choice, but it is. I love it. Whatever it is. And I have totally accepted it right from the start. So it gives me that distance, objectivity, which I would always want to have in my writing. And yet it's totally intimate. So if, if I was questioning myself, why would anyone read my memoir? Uh, and and uh, the uh, because always the question was like I'm not climb mountains I haven't swum the channel or whatever else people do and write about but I am unique in my body no one else looks like me no one else is constructed like me. No one else has gone precisely through these physical events. So then I had my answer. And that's how I came to write about my memoir through the body. And uh, I enjoyed doing it. <laughs> <laughs>